somebody who is crazy. We're going to go to him here in just a few moments. He is Justin Gabor, or Justin Graybor. Justin Graybar is going to be with us. We are going to go to our guest here in just a few seconds. We are going to call our guest and uh, get him in here. And uh, oh. we will see what we can see here. Uh, Justin, how are you, sir? How's it going? How you doing? Pretty good, actually. Pretty good, actually. So we have got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big broadcast. Justin Graber is with us. He has a brand new comedy special that is out everywhere, and we wanted to get him in here uh, to talk about it and also talk about some of his other exploits and adventures. So, uh, Justin, welcome to the program. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, actually. Let, let let's talk a little bit about this uh, this stand up special that that you've got going. Talk to us a little bit about this. Yeah, so I did a show in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, um, on October seventh. It was filmed. I did ten minutes of of a, of a stand up special. And I put it up on my website for a dollar forty four to watch. Um, it's interesting because it was my first time ever on stage. I just started stand up uh, this year. A few months before October, I picked up a book and started writing it. Started a little bit before me, threw the book at me because I was going through a little bit of a depression. Uh, he was like, get get back on your feet and uh, figure this out. And I was like, all right, fine. So he booked me for his show, his his hour-long special, um, Drew, Hern- Drew Hernandez. And uh, he's got his up, obviously, on, on his website. I took my 10 minutes and put it up on my website. Uh, it went really well. It was, it was for uh, 300 veterans, filled the filled the room and it's interesting because my second time on stage i went to new york city at four, at yonkers um comedy club and i bombed so it's like <laughs> day and night you know uh it's interesting because I, I wrote different uh different material for new york uh specifically and it just the beginning opened up pretty well and then i just uh i lost myself or i, I lost the crowd i started, I, I don't know i had a I got a lot of learning to do. We're, we never stop growing, growing. We never stop learning. Um, but it was, it was good. It was something that needed to happen. Uh, every comic talks about how they bombed at one point or, no, or another. And it's just a learning process at this point. I've been up on the stage out here in LA a few times. Um, I did the uh, comedy Chateau uh, and recently did the improv lab room uh, on Sunset Boulevard, which was pretty also not, it was it was pretty nervous. It didn't go as well as I as I liked, and I was the cold open for the host, which I've never heard of before. I'm like I said, learning on the learning on the curve. You know? Yeah, I've I've been interviewing comedians for a heck of a long time. I have never heard that term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cold so, open for the host. Uh, that is, you know, I I interviewed a uh, I interviewed a couple comics. I believe it was last summer and they were from Canada and they were trying to pull uh they were trying to pull some stunt on this local comedy venue they were booked in where you know most comedy shows you know you've been to several of them you've been on several of them you know they have a host and they have you know three acts usually and the headliner you know gets the most time and all these things and these mm-hmm. and these Canadians uh, got booked, and they had a local, a local opener, and then this uh, this headliner had brought the guy that was the host slash the opening act, and they kept pull, they, they they pulled this stunt where they were, uh, well, you know uh, how they do it in Canada is the host goes up first, and then. He brings up the opening act, and then the host goes back up, and he does another 20 minutes, and then they bring the headliner up, and then uh, after he does his 45 minutes, then the host goes back up and and does another 20 minutes. And I'm like, that is not how it's done anywhere. What Providence account? What 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 kind of stunt do they think they're pulling on this club? (laughs) So yeah, I've never heard of the cold open. So essentially, you were opening for the host. Is that is that the stunt they were trying to pull? Were you the uh, warm-up act? 
Internet connections go haywire over there. Yes, yes. Uh, it, uh, the internet is crap over here, but oh, um, but uh, it, it it it's Cox. You know, you gotta love Cox Communications. So, uh, so your very first ten minute stand up special. It's called Fourth Times a Curse. It is available online. Uh, yep. Why did you call it Fourth Times a Curse? Um, as I was writing a lot of the jokes, uh, the number four kept coming up over and over again. Uh, so like I'm from Buffalo, New York, I talk about how the bills let me down and I don't even watch sports anymore because they lost four Super Bowls in a row, That's awesome. um, which got me thinking, uh, I've been on four deployments. So I, I bring that up within that, within that joke as well. Uh, kind of added another four somewhere else. And then I, I get I get I, I dabble in the, into the dark humor. Uh, I actually recently lost a, another friend to suicide. A lot of veterans uh, commit suicide. Twenty two per day is the is the average, but I think that number fluctuates. Um, we, we lost our medic. Uh, he, he lost his battle to the demons, but he was my fourth friend that committed suicide. Uh, wow! So it's inter- it was interesting how that that number kept coming up throughout all of the stuff I was writing, and it was pretty i don't know kind of like a happy accident that the stuff i was writing kept circling back to that number four so fourth time's a curse yeah that's awesome we have got a great guest with us today Justin Gabor is with us. His very first stand-up special is called Fourth Times a Curse. It is available online, and uh, it is it is worth uh, in in his email. He says it's worth a dollar forty-four. Uh, mm-hmm. Explain to more, us more than a dollar forty-four, but uh, <laughs> yeah. that's that's what I priced it at. Well, because like it's a, it's only ten minutes, right? So yeah. I wasn't going to price it at like nine ninety-nine or anything like that, which is a majority of what. A lot of com- comics. Oh use, yeah, you know, nine ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, depending on how popular you are. Um, I, I could have put this up on YouTube for free. I thought about that, but I've been pursuing the arts since twenty twelve, since I got out of the military. So, I came to the conclusion I'm like, I gotta stop doing stuff for free. You know, I'm like, I, yeah, there's yeah. a few shows out here. I'm still kind of doing for free and trying to get my name out there or whatever. Obviously, stand up's a different medium than. Um, acting in television or film and theater, but I was like, I, I, I gotta stop asking or I, I gotta stop doing stuff for free. There, there comes a point in your, in your life and your career. It's like I gotta, th- I, I need to pay the bills with my art. So yes. that's what I'm doing. And if nobody buys it, then, uh, then you know, I don't know. I might join the 22 veterans the day that. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. We'll we'll that that is. <laughs> <laughs> I I love that kind of humor. We we yeah. we have got uh, Justin Graver with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. So uh, now that this is out and you, you've got this going and you're going around and promoting it, what is next for you? Well, I've been writing more jokes. Obviously, the goal is to get an hour long special. I think I have about. 30 to 40 minutes of, of, uh, content at this point, but it's all kind of like sporadic. So I need to like really go in, dive in and kind of like make everything circular and, uh, make everything like kind of gel together and and blend together so that I have a a good solid hour. And then, um, I got some money saved up, uh, probably buy a, a, a comedy or like rent out a comedy spot somewhere and, and sell tickets and get that filmed and put that up as well. That's awesome. We have got a great guest with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. So, Justin, before we let you go, how do people see the special and keep up with you online and, and everywhere else? Sure. Um, my name is Phil with an O, not an I. My dad was drunk and couldn't draw a straight line. I don't know. <laughs> he says that, that he awesome. wanted me to be unique, but I don't know. Um, so it's J-U-S-T-O-N-G-R-A-B-E-R dot com. You can see the special there. Purchase it for $1.44. For 72 hours, um, there's another another tab, uh, streaming tab for some of the short films that I've co-produced and I've acted in. Those are up on my website as well. My social media, Instagram is at JustonRG. My middle my middle name's Roy, which is my dad's first name. Um, so if I ever have a kid, maybe I'll give him my first name as a middle name. I don't know though. Pro- kids are expensive, especially these days. Man, everyone's everyone's poor and broke. We're we're screwed. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. 
Well, Justin, you are amazing. I'm glad we were able to make this work and get this done. Uh, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Thanks for making some time for us today. And uh, sure. thanks for just keep on being you. I think that is awesome because you, uh, you, you, you've got a style. You've got, uh, you know, you're a funny dude. I, 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 I just love the fact we were able to make this work. And I hope to talk to you more, my friend. Hell yeah, yeah. Let's uh, schedule another one soon. Definitely, definitely. Well, I will be in touch. I will hit you up on email, and uh, we will get you back on. Really appreciate it, brother. Thanks for making some time for us. Yeah, thanks, bro. Appreciate it, brother. There he goes. That is Justin Graber today here on our big program, and uh, he joins us coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio today and also AMFM247.com. Tune in iTunes. 